Don't you just hate it when your wife asks you to vacuum while you're gaming? The audacity of that. So this is my solution for it. In this video, I'm going to explain how this smart vacuum works and how it's going to save you so much time and effort of vacuuming. Let's go. So a quick Google search shows us that we spent almost 69 days vacuuming. And who doesn't want to get the 69 days back in their life? So on the floor there, I set up everything that we get in the box with this vacuum. So first we get the vacuum itself, the ED Vac Pro 2. And on the right side here, we have the charging station that the, the vacuum goes directly to it automatically to charge. Here we have a mop that will mop the floor if it's not a carpet. And of course we have here a little brush that would gather everything and get it inside the vacuum. So setting up this little bad boy is quite simple. All you need to do is download the ED app from the Google Play or if you have an iPhone from the App Store, then all you need to do is find the QR code under the hood here. So let's just pop it open and show you what the QR code is. Here's that QR code and you're gonna scan the QR code with the app and the app will guide you very well on how to do it and how to connect to your Wi-Fi. And after that, it's done. You're connected to the VAC and you can use it right away with the click of a button. So the vacuum is ready to go, but it does need the brush to collect the dust. So don't forget to attach your brush. Uh, the app will remind you if you don't attach it, but, but it's quite simple. You just pop it in there and uh, it's already done. You just flip it over and it should start uh, working. But you also need to set the charger as well, because after it's done cleaning, it's going to find the charger station to go charge itself. So you don't need to worry about that yourself. So just connect the charger. I'm just going to put it here for demonstration. Uh, after you connected the charger, the, the vacuum itself will know what the charger is. So you don't need to do anything extra for that. And I'll demonstrate later how it goes to the charger by itself. Just make sure you get familiar with the app so you know how to start cleaning. Once you start cleaning, the vacuum will start by itself and um, it will sometimes attack you like it did to me now. Let's go. <laughs> so for the vacuum to know where to clean in your room, you need to map the room. So this is done by the vacuum itself automatically, but you need to select it in the app and press start mapping. This will make the cleaning better and more accurate. So since this is a vacuum cleaner, we have to test it, right? So I'm going to put some coffee and sugar on the floor and see how well this vacuum cleaner cleans it. This is on the carpet, of course, so it should be tougher for the vacuum cleaner to get it out. but any normal vacuum cleaner should get it without any problem but this is a tiny one it's an automatic one so we shouldn't just trust it right away we need to test it and show you if it's good or not so on the app you just press start cleaning or the start button and the vacuum will start by itself and it's gonna start cleaning uh, the room that you mapped before so let's see how it does picking up this sugar and coffee this is the first try of course it's gonna take out almost everything but i'm gonna give it another go where it comes back just to make sure it has everything so let's look at the carpet and see what it has so there's not a single piece of coffee or sugar on the floor well done clean the vacuum cleaner is manual so you have to do it yourself unless you buy the cling station which will make the vacuum do it itself but this is how you do it yourself you take this out and then you can check how much you have in this little container it fills up every two cleans i would say every two runs it would fill up the vacuum will remind you if it needs cleaning and this is just a cleaning tool if you want to clean the lenses or anything so the vacuum should also remind you if the lenses need cleaning or anything needs cleaning, it will basically talk to you and say to you, okay, this needs cleaning and it should be done. So if you're thinking to mop the floor, it will still vacuum and mop the floor at the same time. This is for hard surfaces, it's not for the carpet, of course, because you can also add water to make it into a mop. It's very simple, you just put it from the back and add it to the vacuum. The vacuum will detect it as soon as you put it in and it will know what it is. So it's quite simple and to take it out, it's the same process. You just pull it from the back and the vacuum will know that you took it out. So let's just go through the app and show you some of the features that this vacuum has so you're familiar on how to use it. So it's quite simple here. Well, you have the vacuum power where how hard the vacuum will suck and then you have the water level or how much water you have in the vacuum. And then you have the cleaning schedule, which is one of the best things you have in the cleaner because it will tell it when to clean every day, once a day, once a week, every day or whenever you want it to clean, which is really, really handy. And then if you go down, you can see here the robot voice, which is how loud it would speak back to you and tell you if there's something you need to cleaning. And there's other stuff like don't disturb and auto empty if you have the actual station that would empty itself in the station. There are even more options in this app that you'd need to explore yourself and see if you need them or don't need them. There are so many options. It's quite flexible and you could use it to the extent that you need at your home. So that's it for me guys. Well done to you D to making this perfect vacuum cleaner, the VAC2 Pro. It's quite amazing and I really like it. So if you'd like to buy it, I left the link for it in the description below. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.